captain by a guy with zero boxing matches. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. But that's the kind of freak that Francis is. Francis is, is, man. He's a freak. He's the freak of all freaks. If if you're, and you've seen Francis up close, right? Yeah, that's the thing. And you, so you know the kind of freak he is. If you're him and if you're his people, what, what's that? What's his next move? Get as much money as you can. Of course. This is what I think yeah. they should do. Put him in with a, a heavyweight boxer that he can beat that has a good record. Like someone who's in the argument of like a top 10. And if Francis knocks that guy out, then if they can think about try that, to yes. coax Tyson Fury into a rematch, that would be fucking bananas and i think saudi arabia has enough money to actually pull that off i think so too i think so too they might they might be able to fucking (laughs) bait tyson in with some just fucking life-changing generational money so here's the thing about tyson who and i who i love and i love that guy i love that guy too there's two train of thoughts here it's either well i I don't actually need to fight him again right right there's that train of thought but then i wonder if it goes back to the the champion mentality that you talked about is as a champion I need to fight that guy. It may be that. Do you know I mean, what I mean? He's certainly a champion, and he's certainly one of the greatest of all time. And I think he certainly underestimated Francis. Yeah. And I, I don't know how he trained for Francis. He said he trained as hard as any fight ever, which is possible because he always looks that way. He always like like Fedor. He has like this very disarming body, and he jokes around about it. Yeah. Look at this fucking belly. <laughs> and he's yeah. he's a character. I love the guy to death. Yeah. I think if he knows now what he's up against and he just boxes, just boxes with with a real understanding of the consequences of making a mistake, I think it's probably a different fight. But if he doesn't engage and just uses that beautiful jab and movement mm-hmm. and stays away from him and just does what he does when he's at his very best. And one of the things you see from Tyson Fury is when he does have a rematch, he performs so much better. Like the Deontay Wilder with fight Wilder, is a yeah. perfect example. First fight, down to the wire, gets dropped in the last round. It's a draw. Second fight dominates. Third fight dominates. Yeah. And was put through adversity. Dropped. I mean, I think yeah. he dropped, got dropped four times over the course of their three fights. Yes. By the hardest fucking one-punch knockout artist Fuck ever. Yeah, ever, man. Yes. Deontay's got lightning in his hands. He just... Just yeah. <laughs> electrocutes people. It's crazy, man. Deontay's, he's the greatest knockout artist ever. And, if you and, look at his career, it's like mostly knockouts. That's it, right? Yeah. And also, too, I feel like tall. So as you're tall, your muscles get elongated, mm-hmm. as you know, and then it becomes deceptive. Mm-hmm. What's well, a leverage thing, too? Yes. Because he's got broad shoulders and insane speed. Yes. So when he, bah! When he drops that hand on you, it's just... When he turns it over at the end with all that length yes. and torque and leverage, yes, yes, he's like, like nobody, like nobody. He just starches people. Yeah, I always go to the Luis Ortiz fight when he cracked him in the head, and Ortiz yeah. gets up and he's like, "What <laughs> the, the fuck? fuck?" He hit him on the forehead. Yeah, hit him on the forehead and just shut the lights out. It's unbelievable. Yeah, Deontay, what Terry Atlas calls it, Teddy Atlas calls it the eraser. He's like any mistakes that he has, he just erases them <laughs> with one shot, and it's true. Like you can, you can win every round with Deontay, and you just zig when you should have zagged, and blap, boom. And he almost did it to Tyson Fury. I was gonna say he did. He almost did yeah. it. If any other man, it might have been the end. But Tyson is just so game. He's just such a fucking warrior. He yeah. figured out a way to get up and just, hold, and he got dropped again. He got yeah, back up again, yeah. and then wound up stopping him after that. That's right. Yeah, and in an amazing, glorious finish to the fight that cemented him as one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Of all time. I think, really, to get it back, to really get that reputation back, he should fight Francis. I really think he should. But he probably wants to fight Usyk first, unify the title, and then if they come to him with just gigantic banana money, just just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, like, what? How much? Yeah. $200 million? Back like what, something truck up? Yes. fucking crazy like that? Yes. He might just go, all right. And then, which you know, the resources are there for that. Oh yeah, they can the, do whatever the, the fuck they want. The mo- <laughs> they, they got, they got, they got. The, well, fuck you, the, fuck you, fuck yeah. you, money. <laughs> All of you, money. <laughs> fuck everyone, money. They yes. got fuck the planet, money, dude. And I like that they're putting together that. Yes. Fi- I like that they put together that fight, and I like to get that they're putting together a bunch of other fights. They're trying to do a lot of crazy shit over there. Yeah. I love it. Good, Absolutely. throw that money out there. Absolutely, man. And I love it for the athletes because they're going to get paid. Love it for the athletes yeah. to get paid, and that's why I think with. And it just feels like, like just in here, you know, it's a fight that I, I need just in terms of as champion, but mentality. 
Yeah. The champion that's in here, the mana, I, I, I need to do that again. Well, right, right? now it's got to be in his head. I mean, he's a sensitive guy. I'm sure he's responded to all the criticisms, probably eating him up, probably drives him nuts. And I bet you'll see an entirely different Tyson Fury in this next fight. In this next fight, you will see a focused Dominant. fucking assassin. Yes. But he's fighting the craftiest heavyweight maybe of all time. Yeah. Usyk is so slick. He is, yes. I mean, he's the guy who's trained by the same guy that Lomachenko was trained by. Uh, so he's got just unbelievable movement. His angles, the way he boxes, his fucking feints and movement, total next level. Yeah. But he's quite a bit smaller. I mean, he's really, he was a cruiserweight and yeah. then went up to heavyweight. Yeah. So there's, there's, you know, there's money in that fight. And I would hope that the winner of that fight then fights Francis. Whether Usyk would want to fight Francis, who knows. But if Usyk wins, if he beats Tyson Fury, that's, you know, pretty incredible. Just announced the date for that fight. February 17th in Saudi, in Saudi. Arabia. Saudi Arabia going crazy. Yeah, there that's, you go. That's a very, very interesting fight. Yes. And although Usyk is smaller, man, that fucking guy is so skilled. Yeah. Those Anthony Joshua fights were insane. Insane. By the way, Tyson is like 6'9". Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Usyk is not that Well, Usyk is wearing shoes short, yes. in there, and Tyson is not. Oh, okay. Tyson is right after the fight, and they're standing there staring uh, at each okay, other. Okay, okay. So Tyson's quite a few. But it's also his arms are longer. Just the reach and distance is such an advantage because you could hit a guy where he can't hit you. Yeah. Hey, woman. Since your man ain't got no heart, what's going on in my apartment tonight? I'll show you a real man. There you go. What? What? Fuck you. <laughs>